Thank you. And now to a story you'll only see on five. Admirers called his time in office Camelot. And when it ended with gunfire in Dallas that fateful November day in 1963, a photographer with local ties was in the motorcade behind John F. Kennedy's presidential limousine. Tonight, rarely seen photos reveal the scope of history Tom Atkins recorded, and his Boynton Beach sister wants that work to be remembered. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank joins us with the pictures and the story tonight. Uh, Ke uh, Kelly, Michael, this picture was taken by uh, Tom Atkins on September 9th, 1960, 1963. So that's two months, just two months before uh, President Kennedy uh, that was up a bit for shot the and killed. Where, there we are. There we mm -hmm. go. Tom just Atkins two months work. before, yep. right. just two, just just two months before, and so you know this picture actually has rarely been seen by anybody outside of the Atkins family. But one piece of video that he took is one of the last times that the president had a smile on his face. What strikes you about this video? Is it the brilliant color, or the smiles on everyone's faces, or that it was one of the president's final moments? To Becky Rister, this video of JFK in San Antonio the day before he was killed brings frightening memories. I was 10 years old in my music class in my school, and they announced it over the loudspeaker, and I just started crying and ran out of the room, I guess because I knew my brother was there. In fact, her brother, Navy Commander Tom Atkins, was the official White House cinematographer, and he was the one holding the camera, capturing President Kennedy's last hours. He was a few cars behind the president when he was hit. He loved him so much. And to this day, he cried every time we talk about it. Last week, Atkins died of a stroke at the age of 77. Aside for that video that has been shown in nearly every documentary made of Kennedy, Atkins left behind other pieces of history. Atkins took this picture of the White House and Washington Monument that Rister says was Jackie Kennedy's favorite. It says, to Tom, best wishes. John F. Kennedy. Yet it's this portrait that Atkins took of the president that is the family's pride and joy. He gave them to all his brothers and sisters before he died. For all the chronicling that Atkins did of others, he also took video and pictures of Lyndon Johnson's family. Atkins never wanted fame. The pictures were kept in drawers until he passed last week. My mother used to hound him, Tom, Tom, expose yourself. No, he's a very quiet person. Everything was in his heart. and He would never expose or never sell anything. Speaking of things that could probably be, so be sold, I am holding in my hands an autographed picture uh, by uh, President John F. Kennedy. Now, Becky says that the family, by the way, has no plans to uh, sell anything. Another memento that uh, her brother collected during his travels with the president, one of the shell casings from, that was fired during the 21 uh, gun salute that was given to President mm. Kennedy in Washington, D.C. And also we should mention that uh, Atkins did teach photography at the Fort Lauderdale School, uh, Fort Lauderdale Institute of Art for 20 years until he moved to North mm. Carolina where he retired and died last week. Oh, he's going to be so missed. And you can see why that's a favorite picture of <laughs> yeah, you the can former see. First Lady. It's yeah. gorgeous, yeah. absolutely. You can see why. And we're reminded of mm -hmm. the work these people do and that they chronicle what becomes a, very much a part of the fabric of the American story. And there story. actually still are White House mm -hmm. photographers, mm -hmm. both still and video of photographers uh, that you can be sure follow the president around uh, to this day, probably right at this moment. Thank you for bringing <laughs> us the story.